Hi everybody, I hope you're well. In today's video, I am back at the amazing tank space with my friend Beth again, who is over here, but also <laughs> in the water. I say back at tank space, I've not actually left. This is just video two. Whereas in the first video, which I will link to up here, you saw me using speed lights. What I'm now going to do is see what we can do using just loom cubes. So loom cubes, if you're not aware, are these really tiny little video lights. And they're really cool because they're very small, very light, but very powerful. Not only are these able to act as optical slaves, so if you're using off-camera flash, then these will trigger at the same time. But, and this is the thing that I'm really excited about, they are also completely waterproof. So all being well, I'm going to ask Beth to hold this light towards her and then light her face and then hopefully we'll get some cool stuff but the main thing is that these loom cubes are going to go completely under the water. I have two loom cubes, this comes as part of the pro pack, in fact what I will do, I'm going to pass you over now to me at home and I'm going to talk you through what is in the pro lighting pack. So I'm going to pass you over now to me. <laughs> so let me quickly talk to you about Loom Cubes and what is in the Loom Cube 2.0 Professional Lighting Kit because as you will see here, the kit contains lots of attachments and modifiers which you can use to really affect and control the shape and the colour of the light. Now the Loom Cubes themselves are very little portable LED lights which can produce up to 1500 lumens of light for 90 minutes and what I love about them is their size because as you can see they are so small they take up so little room in your bag you can even keep one of them in your pocket and they can be controlled via an app on your phone plus as you're going to see in this very video they are thankfully completely waterproof now i haven't had chance to use them very much at weddings as yet but i have used them to light up details and the light has worked really well for example in this shot where i lit up the table names this shot is available light and this one is where I lit the sign with the loom cube. And as you'll see in this photograph of a bride's shoes, this again is available light, and this is where I lit the shoes with the loom cube. So let's look at what is in the professional lighting kit. Firstly, there are two loom cubes, two modification frames, which you use to attach to the loom cube so that you can attach other modifiers, two snoots, to help give you a really narrow beam of light, two barn doors to help you control the spread of the light, two honeycomb grids, two light and strong diffusion panels, two warm and very warm gels, four colored gels, two diffusion bulbs, which are great for softening the spread of the light, two mounts so that you can attach the loom cube to a light stand or to a camera hot shoe, a USB-C cable to charge the loom cubes and some instructions. Now the modifiers all attach to the loom cube with magnets and they are also stackable, which is really cool. So it's very quick and easy. So if I want to put the blue gel on, just goes on like that, takes seconds and then the diffusion bulb, just goes on like that. It's really, really quick and easy. Now, if you're curious as to what the various modifiers do, here is a loom cube lighting a wall with no modifier on it. This is the minimum power, so let's turn it up to the maximum. And apologies, here is me for scale. Now, this is the snoot. Here are the barn doors. This is the honeycomb grid. Here is the diffusion bulb. Now the various gels are obviously great at changing the color and the temperature of the light as you'll see here. Now I'm gonna put a link to the professional lighting kit in the description. For now though, I'm gonna pass you back to me and Beth at Tank Space. So back again at Tank Space. So we're gonna start off by using two loom cubes. One I'm gonna put through one of these holes here on the side and two Beth if you don't mind this feels very scary because I'm gonna ask you to put that hold that underwater if that's all right so I'll turn it on now I hate even if something is waterproof it always feels very scary actually putting something underwater 
So Loom Cube, this is a test. But you see how, I mean, you won't be able to really tell, but they do go very bright. So if I can give that to you, Beth. Go on, I'll, I'll film you actually dunking it under for now, if that's right. Then I'll go round and then we'll see what we get. Yeah. Is it still on? <laughs> okay, let's go round and see what's happening from this side. That's cool, it's really bright. Much brighter than I would have ever thought it would be. That looks really cool, really cool. That looks amazing. This is the first time I've ever used Loom Cues, but I love them. I say, especially because they're so small. Kai at Tank Space, who's been so helpful to us today. He's, he's been a godsend because, as I mentioned at the end of the first video, this is really hard. It's very difficult to light um, a model underwater because you can't communicate with them. It's, it's just a, a lot harder than I thought. So Kai and Elle from Tank Space have been amazing. The link to Tank Space is in the description. And if you want to do anything like this, go and visit their website and book a session here. It is so much fun. But Kai has been really helpful and he's made a suggestion. So yeah, this is a lantern that we sometimes use with LED lights, but we've never been able to find anything as small and powerful as these. So actually, I think this could look potentially really good. Cool, well, okay. Let's, let's whack it in. Beth doesn't like herself on camera when she's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, now that's cool. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, let's just see what that looks like. So that was so much fun and these little loom cubes worked a lot better than I must admit I thought they would do because they're really small so yeah I didn't think that they would have enough power in them to light Beth up when she's underwater but they were really really good. So I'll put a link in the description to loom cube but yeah I really would recommend them especially if you're doing anything like this. I also think they're going to be very useful at weddings if I may be lighting up either a sparkler shot or something like that where it's very very dark outside and you just want a little bit of light coming from your camera. I think these will be really effective. So as soon as I get a chance to use these at a wedding, I will let you know. So again, a massive thank you to Beth for modeling in very, very difficult conditions. A huge thank you to both Kai and Elle at Tank Space in Nottinghamshire for these amazing facilities and also for their help with the fabric that we use for this shoot and the lantern as well, which I think makes for really effective photographs. So as always, if you have any questions at all, please do put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Got you. <ya. laughs>